Kensington Brewing Company is a very small independently owned craft beer company located in Kensington Market in Toronto. Uh, we started life just over three years ago now, which is feels kind of crazy to say. Uh, right now you can get uh, our three sort of core brands, Augusta Ale, uh, Baldwin Fish IPA and, and Watermelon Wheat on draft and uh, in cans. And uh, starting in about two weeks, you'll find Watermelon Wheat at the beer store in about 45 locations. This is where the, you know, the majority of beer is sold in this province, right? The craft brewer segment is growing uh, remarkably in our system. In the last five years, Ontario small brewer sales are up 67% at the beer store. It's the fastest growing category right now in, in, in this system. So if brewers don't want to sell here, I, I'd say they're missing out on a great opportunity to grow their business. The beer store is not a natural partner for craft beer. Uh, it's prohibitively expensive for some to, to pay for the listing fee. It's not a good environment for small companies. You're given a little square on a board often. And philosophically, it's odd because we're forced to kind of pay our, our uh, you know, our competition for the right to sell in their stores, which is doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to see how it's a little bit of a strange arrangement. One of the biggest myths about the beer store is this notion that the beer store is a monopoly. I mean, monopolies, uh, if you look at the traditional definition of that, are, you know, companies that uh, control access to the market. They control who gets into the market and they control price. And the beer store doesn't do either of those. There's really only one question for the beer store. There's only, you can boil it all down to one question. Why can't there be competition? What are they so afraid of if I had a store? Yeah, I could list at the beer store. That's 100% true. So could any brewery in the world. But why can't I decide to do it another way? Why? They make money, billions of dollars. This is the only answer. And they'll do an awful lot to protect those billions of dollars. It's an unfair system. Oh, we think we've got a great system here, right? We, we think we've got a system that's open, inclusive, and highly competitive. We know that from selling beer in other jurisdictions that have a corner grocery store type retail environment, that the cost to retail and distribute beer and that type of a system is significantly higher. The beer store does some things really well, like uh, they do a great job of distributing their larger brands to bars and restaurants. Uh, it was after all the initial purpose was to act as a distribution center for beer in Ontario. They do a good job at the recycling program, which they like to point out often. Things that they don't do a fantastic job with, uh, offering a, a retail environment that's conducive to what I would describe as today's sort of craft beer consumer. Distribution laws in Ontario are what keep most of the small breweries from becoming medium-sized breweries. In order for me to triple in size, I need an avenue to distribute that beer. And the demand is there for it. The banks are interested in giving us money, but where's that beer gonna go? If I'm in Quebec, I can walk to the corner store and say, hey, if you want this beer, yes or no, and they can, they can decide, yeah, we'd like a smoked raspberry beer, that's crazy, we'll try that. Well, if, if you were to open up, if you do convenience stores, consumers are gonna see higher prices, less product selection, and in lower level of performance in terms of responsible sale. And from what we've seen, that's not something that consumers want. They don't want to pay more. They don't want to get less choice and they don't want a less socially responsible system. I don't know why there isn't more vocal opposition from existing craft breweries, although I, I have a suspicion. I don't know why there isn't a politician who stands up because there's something for every spectrum in this. Jobs, revenue, local, business, small business. I don't know why there aren't people jumping up and down on this.